Hey, what's up? I'm Hype Say. I play games and make games and everything in between. And today we are at Times Square, New York. I'm going to make some games using Hype Hype. Hype Hype is a new app that lets you make and play games and remix games. Remixing is what I'm going to do today. Hype Hype offers a lot of different templates from platformer to some of the most popular games that have been on the app store. They're very easy to use and make a playlist. If you like this kind of content where I make and play games, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. So let's get going. They even have free Wi Fi here, so that's cool. Before I get started, follow me on Hype Hype. I am Hype C. I'm still new to Hype Hype. When it comes to learning something new, it takes time. You don't just step up and automatically know how to make a game. Nobody has ever done that. Maybe like three people. Learning how to make a game is a process. Hype Hype is one of the easiest that I've seen when it comes to making games. There is multiple games that you can just play. And I think playing games is a beautiful way to teach yourself how to make games. When you play a game, you can see what mechanics the game has and you can decide if you like it and if you want to follow in that game's footsteps. Here's a cool game by Hamu Neon Drift and this is from a template called the Maze Painter Template. Go to the search over here, type in template. We can see a bunch of different templates. Today we are going to go into Maze Painter, recreate this game but in a completely new way to make it our own, make multiple levels. I like to add or take away something, try to make the game more my own. You don't have to do this if this is your first time. Feel free to just make the same game. Use that as a beginning experience. What we're going to do is we're going to hit this remix. So the first thing that I recommend doing is changing the color. The color is pretty straightforward to change. I'm more of a blue guy anyways. Pink and blue are great contrast colors. I have spent days researching colors and contrast colors are always a good way to go. But here we can see that this player has a more of a shine to it. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that player. And now I have copied that item. High Pipe is brand new. There are little bugs and quirks to it. The team is based in Finland. They're still working on it. If you would like to know more about who High Pipe is, I have a video on that. So check that out. If you have questions, leave comments below. Make a player copy because if you change the original and then you do something that you don't know, it's going to be hard to go back. It's always easier to work on a copy than it is to work on an original. So this is just good advice throughout all of Hype Hype. Better to be safe than sorry. Let's try blue for now. I sometimes find myself just having multiple ideas at once and then just being really confused. I have an idea. Stick with it. See it through and then change your mind. Let's click on the player. That's decent. I feel like that white spot is kind of a little bit too much. Let's see if I can adjust that. And I think it's the shininess. You can see a square or a cube. Move that down a little bit like this. Oh, and you can even see from the image that is on the screen, which is great. So it's like instant change that I like. Let's just mess around with this just to see. Ooh. I kind of like it about there. When you're making these adjustments, just fill it out. See what you think is cool. I like that. Next thing I wanted to do is change this white screen. I want to have something more like a cyberpunk theme. As to do that, we're going to go into asset, visual, look for the tile map. The tile maps are cool. You can draw a map with your fingers or erase a map. And that is what the map is created in. I like this one. Let's add this. As we can see, it's just boring tile map. We are going to add some colors. Some of these balls, they don't even do anything. It depends on the object itself. And it looks like in this object, there is no fourth color. Let's go to the colors and we're gonna add some more colors. I think it's this one. And now here, let's add a pink. But I wanna make it pop a little more. Let's grab this pink. Go into here, maybe a little bit more pink, like that. Next, what we're going to do is the original maze is on the negative 2y axis. That's important. We want to know that. And we're going to go ahead and delete it. So now it's gone. And then we're going to take this and set this to negative 2. So it is now on that y axis. And we can move it around. Select the paint icon. We can make our own level. I wanted to start off by just kind of like making an H. 
we have to think about how this game moves. If I set it up now, we can see that it looks like it's just colliding into the wall and not moving, which is not what we want. I think I missed a step. That's not good. Luckily, there is an undo button. We're just gonna hit the undo a bunch of times and get the original. Test this, see how it works. If we select this object, we can go to advanced, shows all the attributes that are with this object. Here we can see it's set to immovable object. Here we got the object groupings. We got physical set to static and physical material set to wall. Okay, so that's what we are missing. We forgot to do that. Let's go to object and add this reference group. That's gotta be it. That's the only difference. Yep, look at that. Look at that. So now it's working. I actually did all that on purpose. That was a test to help everybody learn. Check everything. You might just be missing a dot somewhere. We were missing that dot. So now we're good to go. Zoom out. This is super easy. You just pinch zoom in and out. Super fun making tile maps. Oop, oop. We kind of messed up up there, but that's okay. Sometimes making mistakes is good because then you can learn more. Now that we have the walls working properly, let's go ahead and save that because whenever things are working the way you want them to, you want to have a good saved version. Hypipe does get stuck occasionally and crash, but it's really good at saving files. So that's pretty dope. Move these stars a little bit over here. Make the letter H. Grab this paint, something like that. Yes, this will be the first level. We want to place these stars strategically. We can see the collectible scores. Let's put it up here and put this one. Yes, yeah, something like this I think is good. Cool, let's go ahead and test this out. Looks good. We're gonna need to move this dude up a little bit. Minus. There we go. Okay, we wanna change the color of this as well. Eh, that doesn't look so great. That looks a little better. World, visual color, select the world and select here. Okay, cool. Here we go, ground color, there it is. Cool, maybe like a dark purple. I do want to add an enemy later that is orange. Let's take a look at that. This is nice because there's a color wheel. The opposite of orange is kind of like a blue. And then the opposite of this purple is like a green. And I don't really want the color green. I think this is good for now. All right, let's play it again just to test. Let's get rid of that pink. Or we'll just make it blue. Select the logic. We can go over here and we change this color. Oh, and we can see that the particles are also pink. I kind of like that actually. I think I'm gonna keep the star pink. That way we got a blue pink contrast color going. So we get the blue and the pink, the best of both. And then some purple, which we can change later. We're gonna save this and we're gonna post it as unlisted. We can see here that the thumbnail needs to be updated. To do that, you hit play. You can see to the right over here that there's an icon that's called thumbnail. Select this to move it out. And then I'm gonna hit that thumbnail, come on out. And yeah, that's looking good. Post as unlisted. We're gonna be making multiple levels for this to string your hypes from level one, level two, level three. They cannot be in draft mode, so that is something to keep in mind if you're making multiple levels and want players to go from level one to level two. And the cool thing is you can make playlists that include your games along with other people's games. I wanna also highlight this edit category. You can see we have puzzle, relaxing, and simulation are already selected. I see music, which makes me realize we should totally add some music. Go to music, been acting strangely for me. So it said it was added, but I don't see it anywhere. Wait is added. Now I don't know where it is. Doesn't matter because I was able to hit the undo button. Let's try it again. This was working last week where you could just hit play and it would play the music. This week it does not seem to be working. Yeah, that music is good for me. What's great about that is now that we have it set to unlisted, we can see it right there under H. We can go in here and we can make the second level by just hitting remix. The next letter we are going to be making Y. We want to make sure we don't lose these stars, keep track of them, and I'm going to put them over here to the side so that we can grab them when we need them. So how do we make the letter Y? There we go. That's kind of a Y. We need to make sure that we can get to all the spaces. Let's go ahead and play it. Let's just do a play test of it. I could do all the math in my head, but it's also kind of just fun to just play it all out. Okay, so here we can see we get stuck. 
that's not what we want. I already know what to do here. Paint is gonna add another spot there. Right, again, funky Y, that's cool. That's a great thing when you're making a game and you're trying to figure it out. When in doubt, play the game over and over and over again. Perfect, I like this, this is a Y. We're gonna put these in here. Something else I do wanna add is an enemy. The current game does not have an enemy. You don't need an enemy and generally people like games where you don't die. I'm here to make my own version of the game, add a unique flavor to it. That flavor tastes like bad guys. We're gonna go into these add-on over here. Now there are pre-made add-ons and these are just great to use when you're new and you technically don't know how anything works ish we're not gonna be changing a lot we're just gonna be changing a little bit that's how these work great I don't see what I'm looking for oh maybe I'm looking for add-on over here I am looking for a moving platform instance select that and let's go ahead and move everything and we can put this with everything else here and so let's take a look and we hit show so we can see that this is a half a ball. That's cool, but that's not what we want. And maybe I can just type in triangle, see what we get. I think I want this one. And then we take that. I want the enemy to be orange. Let's make this bad boy more orange. This is set to a reference object. That means this object exists outside of the map. And if we want the object in the map, we're gonna have to copy it. So I'm gonna go ahead, go here, like down here, hit copy. This object is a little bit too big. So let's go ahead and actually make it smaller. So we got the movement, the rotation, and the scale. These can be moved manually. You can also tap them to rotate like that. Here we can see how the object is going to move by looking at the arrow. Move it on down. I'm going to give it a group of orange, which will be the enemy. And we'll set that up later, but right now I want to make sure that it is moving up and down. I'm going to rename it enemy move. Okay, so we know it's the enemy. Select on this object, and then we can place it inside. Now we can see it right there, enemy moves, and we have the speed forward, backwards, and the distance, which is something we can control. Let's test to make sure it's working, so it's not there, because we have it set to reference objects, and so now it is no longer a reference object. Okay, so that is moving a lot more than we want. Luckily, we can adjust it all here. I kind of wanted to just poke out. I'm gonna go ahead, just move everything to one, and an easy solution is to just put the object so far back that it only peeks its head out as directed. Okay, so that's just enough to Okay, great. And now we need to have it so that if that collides with the player, go to the game end system, hit show. Here we can see this is the game end. Let's go to the player. Also give it the orange object, just as we have the orange object selected for the enemy. Oh, no we don't, but now we do. And we can go here, hit add a collision trigger. So if they collide on collision, grab over here, and then we just select here, execute. And that should just end the game. Let's see if that works. Game over. Okay, great. This is good. Let's save it. We got it working the way we want. So we got one unlisted hype, and then we got the Y post as unlisted. And now we're going to go to search, and we're going to select create playlist. We're going to call this hype C paint. Here we go. H Y. Great. We got two done. Four more to go. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Save. Oh, got to hit that save button. We got the format that I like. I want to hit remix. So we're just taking what we made and we're remixing it. And then taking that and then remixing it. Pretty straightforward. Again, the enemy is not exactly moving the way I would like, but it is moving in a way that works for today. That's good. The more we use high pipe, the better we get at it. And in the future, we can just come back, make things better when we have a better understanding understanding of how to manipulate the engine to do what we want but right now we're just doing enough to get by and that works for me now that we are kind of pros at this I think this is the space we want so the next letter is p let's go ahead and grab these stars and move them over here we can add more or less stars now we get to do the fun part where we just kind of go with the flow just kind of have fun with one's own creativity and just trying to make something cool. We need a P. That's a P. Is that, a, is that still a P? That's still a P. I mean, now that kind of looks like a Q. Okay, let's uh, yeah, now that's more like a Q. Now that it looks like a F. Right, we had a we had a P before. Oh, I'm just making all these mistakes. Okay, you see, I had a lot of confidence, and now I don't. And 
gotta take steps backwards. Yeah, okay, so that looks to me more like a P. That is totally a P, okay. And let's go ahead and test the movements, make sure we can get everywhere. Okay, we can see how it's actually outside of the dotted line, which is what we don't want. So let's go ahead and fix that. Yeah, I feel like that's better. Test it out. All right, so we are kind of missing. What we can do is we just take this ball, remove it down one, and that's what we got. Look at that. Wait, it's still missing. I am a big fan of trial and error. I think that is a great way. Perfect. That looks great. That's what we want. I'm going to add some more stars. Pretty simple. We just need to copy like that. Now, along with this, I'm also going to have more enemies. I want them along the edges over here. I'm going to select the rotate. That way the enemies go in that direction. Copy that. Put that here. Okay, we need to add a little star on that side. I would love to have them going at different speeds. You gotta be super careful when making these changes because who knows what it's gonna do. Oh, you know what? I think that's actually good. I think that's the way. Cool. And I wanna make sure the player does not get hit over there. And I'm gonna put this here. Do another star here so that the player has to get all of them. Let's go ahead and save. Unlisted post remix. Let's go to the P. We can remix this one and we'll make this one into a letter E. We need to delete some of these. We can just add them later. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see if this works. Oh, we got way too many enemies down there. It does look like I need to remove this. Here is this. Oh, where'd it go? I lost it. Crap. Undo. Oh, looks like I hit deleting it, which is not what we wanted. Put that object there. Grab this one. Let's also move it over here. Spin it around. There's an enemy over here, and then there's two enemies over here, both of which we want. So let's get the tile map, erase these sections over here so we can select the enemy. We can draw more later. Okay, this one right there, and this one next to it. This one I think is good here, here, and then let's put this one. Let's see where the enemies go in. Okay, so this one needs to go up a little bit more along with this one. The enemy triangles on the right look good. Enemy triangles on the left be a little bit better. Okay, now that's too much. Put this guy 7.5. Yeah, I think we are looking good. So let's go ahead and redraw the paint. Up over here, there we go, cover that up. Add some more of these stars so that the player has to navigate the map. Go cool, and let's post remix. Three down, two to go, H-Y-P-E-S-Y. -E let's go to this one, hit edit. You can see now that these levels are getting more and more difficult. I generally like to make my games easy. I find the easier the games are, the more people play them. That being said, the more difficult the game is the more experience you need to be to be able to beat it. There are always trade-offs. We're gonna need one there. Now we got all the enemies ready to go. So let's just grab these. We can move them over here to a rotation. And we still have enemies here. Let's see how those look. Okay, I, I like it except I'm gonna remove this one. And do we see how it works on the bottom? I don't see any enemies moving on the bottom. I feel like this one needs to move down to 7.5. No, 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 8.5. Nice. Okay, cool. So I think we're good. Let me add some more of these stars. Let's put the ball up here. Looking good, now let's test it. Cool, so let's save this. Let's type C post edit. And the last one is a Y. We already have a Y, so we're just gonna go ahead and remix this and then just add more enemies. And maybe switch this up a little bit. And we got the enemies coming from over here. Let's go ahead and reverse this one. Yeah, let's hit play to see if that makes it out. Almost. Oh, two, I think it's too much. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's copy up and over. Copy up and over. Copy up and over. Nice, I like it. Let's go and move the character there. 
and grab two of those enemies. So this is a cool trick. Select one enemy and then you can hold down anywhere on the screen. I like to hold on this move button and then you select the other enemy. And then you're able to select two at the same time, like that. Let's see how this looks. Stars. All right, let's test it. Perfect. Nice, got the thumbnail. And that's how you remix a game, put your own little flair and style to it. Going to save it. These are all presently unlisted and I can just go to the playlist itself. Start out with the H and play the game. Look at that, seamless. Uh, watch out for that enemy. Maybe go back later and add a couple more stars. Watch out for these fast moving enemies. Ooh, I almost, <laughs> I should have had a game over there. Oh fix that later. They say when you make a game, you are automatically a master at that game. There we go. So I'm Hypesy. If you like this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow for more because I will only be spending more time in Hype Hype. Check out my other videos if you're new to Hype Hype. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Hypesy, it is too cool to be making game on an iPad in Times Square. This is something I could have never imagined a month ago and now I'm doing it today. It's always cool when you do that which you've never done before at the iPad. I'll be doing that all the time. Why not? Make games anywhere. Stay safe out there.